Welcome back to my channel. So top right corner is going to be my Instagram tag. Please follow me. I have a lot of artwork that I post pretty regularly on. Also, if you like this, if you like this video, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. So today we are doing a painting. And the first thing that I am going to do is kind of um, outline um, some of the areas that I feel like are the darkest areas. I use um, I use purple or violet a lot for my darker areas. I, I try not to use black so much because I feel like black sometimes, it the colors aren't, I, in my opinion, they're not as vibrant with black. This is just my opinion. Um, so... I start off with pretty much dark colors basically and then I'll build up and get to the lighter colors as I go on. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and add another dark color but it's like a little lighter than the purple and so it's like, it's an ultramarine blue which I absolutely love, it. it's so pretty. Um, and I kind of just kind of go around because it's, like it's not like your core dark tone but it's like a next tone to that color. And I'm gonna go and do those areas that I think are darker. You should probably be looking at a picture. Um, I am looking at a picture, but at the same time, it's my face. So I feel like I'm pretty familiar with my face. Okay. And in school, I was told not to do your eyes first. Like that should be like the last thing you do. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. Um, and so I added like a shadow color first, but I feel like when you add the darker color and then do the light color on top of it, 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 it blends a lot better. It looks a lot smoother and cleaner. It's really hard to do, um, add dark colors on top of a light tone. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill in those irises. And I just mix my like I mix like a Payne's gray with that um, um, raw umber. I kind of come like this dark brown black color. So now I'm gonna go in and do my mid tone, and I'm gonna use red, which is really bold and um, it's my favorite color actually, you guys. But I don't typically use red a lot because it is so bold and it's like it it just is like bam in your face and. I don't like sometimes I think it's scary to use this color because you um, you don't want people to not get past that color but at the same time like it, it is a beautiful color and it and it has so so many different emotions that that it can evoke like passion or anger or you know um, um, what's another one maybe fiery I'm not really sure that's like an emotion but <clears throat> <clears throat> Someone said I was fiery before, so this is kind of emotion. And then you can see that I went to get like a lighter color, like the lighter red color, and I added some in there, and then I went back to that red. <laughs> I'm also using like a Naples yellow, and I'm mixing the Naples yellow with um, the red. You guys, I love Naples yellow. I don't know how people did anything without Naples yellow. Like, it is thebomb.com people probably don't say that no more but it's true it is and I love it so the lighter Naples yellow I'm using to kind of create these highlight areas areas that are going to be where the light is hitting like at the harshest like you see like when people are doing makeup tutorials and they have like do their highlight that's kind of like the same thing basically <clears throat> And then you can see that I'm kind of going back and forth between my dark colors and my light colors, trying to like you know make sure that I'm getting all these areas. And there may be some areas that aren't exactly um, any of these colors, but like maybe in between those colors. Okay, and I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow osher. And I like how it kind of warms things up a little bit, but also it kind of gives you this other different tone that I feel like I really needed. I feel like everything was looking a lot of like the same and you don't really get that in places. I know sometimes it looks like it's all one tone, but 
you, it's not really just one tone. If it were one tone, it, it would look flat. And we don't want it to look flat. Okay, and sometimes, like you can see what I did with that other brush, is I kind of like use another brush, a dry brush, like one that I'm not painting with, to kind of blend with my colors. I don't want to blend everything, but I do want to blend some things. Um, but I don't want to blend everything because I really, I really, really, really love like impressionism and expressionism in this fallism um, time periods where they have like these vibrant colors and they're not really blending all the colors. They're just like they're letting the brush strokes show. Like they're showing, they're like showing you like no, this isn't a photograph. This is a painting, and these brush strokes that I'm adding, they mean something. They're 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 purposely put there for a reason to evoke some kind of emotion or feeling. Now, one hand with, with my brown, and I'm gonna go ahead and kind of fill in these eyelashes. I mean, eyelashes, eyebrows. Um. <coughs> I use like a lot of um, a lot of linseed oil because like when you use the oil, it makes it a little like your lines a little bit smoother, a little bit more fluid, and so um, that's how it was able to get these like really nice fine lines. Okay, and then with that dry brush again, I just went back in there and I kind of pushed my paint in those little cracked areas where the um, eyebrow lines like because you know our eyebrows they're like little hairs and so they're not just like one solid color okay you can see i added a little bit of blue in there um, just to kind of kind of create that reflective light it's not super um noticeable but i think it adds a little extra to it so i put it in there Okay, and in this area here, I'm not even gonna blend, I'm just, I'm like, thickly applying the paint. Okay, and I'm gonna go around these eyes, and kind of like, so we can do our duck tears, and kind of get those to look, look a little bit more natural. See, I'm using that dry brush that's just so that I can kind of smooth a few things out not everything but just a few little things okay. and I started to do eyelashes you guys and I actually never do eyelashes because you don't really see people's eyelashes unless they're not unless they have false ones on and I definitely didn't have false ones on but um they kind of turned out okay over there on the side, but then <laughs> you can see I gave up on the other side. That is it, you guys. Thank you for watching, and I will be back next week to do another video. Um, if you have a comment, questions, things that you might want me to do or try, I am open to that. And have a amazing Sunday.